guys stf gaming here back again with another dueling book high rated ladder edison review it's a lot of words to jumble together we have ladder god at 1266 the fish god versus drew 56 at 735 so hopefully ladder god's on fish this time i want to see some cool fishy plays yes okay so this hand is insane uh, it, if there's a lot of traps, might take a while to get there, but yeah, really, really good fish hand. On this side, we have a gores, which doesn't matter too much against fish. It can, but we have one trap and we have an Armageddon Knight. A couple Armageddon Knights and Greffers. So I guess you can assume they don't want Greffer, be I mean, um, Necrogardner, because that might've been the better play. I don't know. Um, anyway, Fish God sends a tree, passes because they have gores. This is all fine. Okay, they do run next to Gardner. Yeah, th this is still fine. Like, I'm not... And then they don't want to go all in. Same kind of... I mean... Gores is kind of kind of just destroyed. No, we have a deep reason for gores. I don't know. Gores is just the dumbest card. It kind of keeps the game in check, but like, it is so dumb. Now we're going to kind of overcommit here because they have a Gores. Fish God. Tax. We're going to lose an Armageddon Knight. This is fine. Get Caius. Torrential is really good. Okay. But again, like, fish. He actually has the fish next turn, and there's no back row, so we're just going to set the Mega Hamster. And then Fish God is probably going to overcommit, get Gores. You might have a play around Gores, like, where you can, like, Goyo the Gores. I think there is a line where Fish can do that. So they might go for that line. It's like Mist Worm, Goyo Guardian. I think that's all they can. I don't know. Well, let's watch. Fish God. Tonyo. Okay. Okay. I think the fish god is going to respect Gores here. Hmm. So our opponent's graveyard is Necro Plague Bayou. So I think by attacking with this android, you're thinking they have vi they have necro. So like, I need to set up a game shot into the necro. But as a result, we kind of get punished by gores. Gores can't deal with the fish, but it can deal with the stardust and the android. Charge is a wow. Oh, that that's probably just game. I mean, milling that plague was huge. Now we just get a level 8. That's rough. I mean, the fish god. Do they have a Miss Worm line? No, they don't. Oh! Wow! That was a. W I'm pretty sure the fish deck runs two, and they already used one, so, like, must be nice. I mean, I guess they had Econ. Wait, okay. I wonder why... Maybe there's more fish in deck, but, like... Couldn't we... Didn't we have, like, a line where we discarded heavy, got the... Okay, they have Necro, so that's why we're not doing it. It's just... We know this is Ryko. I'm thinking you can special tree, special fish board, tribute for Coelacanth, Coelacanth's 28, attack over Gores, and then they'll Ryko it, whatever. But the problem is they have Necro, so you're just going to attack, they're going to Necro, then they're going to flip Ryko, kill the Coelacanth, and we're out of, we have no cards, and they have, they still have their Gores, we accomplish nothing. Um, so I think he's just hoping for a better uh, line. I think he's hoping for exactly Econ or something like that. More than likely dead, though. Okay. 
Okay. Holy crap. I think that was his only out. Two, two in a row. They had the Kaisen and the Econ. That was insane. Man, this guy's the fish god. Wait, what did we just draw? Excuse me? Wait, what just happened? Did we just draw a seal account? Wait, the fish god won that game. All I gotta say is he got really lucky. Um, and that was skillful. The luck was skillful. Um, turn one necro. So instantly we are like debilitating our game plan in order to not get fished. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I get it though. And that wait. Wait, what? Armor Master might be good against her. No, it's not. Maybe Armor Master Solemn is. We had return too. Like we could have sent plague and And then we just necroed an oyster meister. Honestly, we're just getting creature swapped. And then we don't set Econ because it's kind of wasteful. Makes sense. We have Gores. 24. I wonder if we make a Gores play here. Like we Treeborn, take the Blackwing, Summon Tree, attack. Attack Armor Master into the set. Make phase 2 if it's not right, go Tribute for Gores pretty good oh they have crow right it's hard to look at both sides at the same time so we're just gonna swap attack right go this is fine and we'll probably just pass the troop dupe gotta drop cores here so we're at tw 20 yeah Alright, so the fish god has nothing going for them, and there's a compulse set, so. It's gonna be rough. But, um, actually, it's not the worst. Hopefully, we can deal with this trooper, because this trooper's gonna mill our whole deck, and that's how they're gonna beat us. Alright. Pulse. Okay. Wait a second. I'm wondering why we didn't econ and then tribute his monster with substitute, but I think this is a more reserved line, which is fine. Gives us some defense. Huh. Because, like, if... We, we didn't know what his back row was, to be fair. And they had two. So this this line lets us play defense. I don't know if it does. I'd have to, like, reevaluate, but I think it might have been better to take this armor master. I think we could have attacked with it in the trooper and then main phase two set. We get punished by the... Com they will probably just compulse a substitute or something. I don't know.
I mean, I guess we're tributing this gores. But this armor master has its effect, so it will deal with the gores. But we're, we're playing with what we have. Hopefully we get a fishy. Oh, and we have dupe, so we get to chill also. Ooh, Maria of Greed. Really good job. Oh. Wait, salvage is good. Eh, it's not great. Wait, do we have a... We have an armory arm play here. That's not lethal, though. It only deals 27. You would equip it to armor master, attack your gores in. Because if you equip it to gores, you can't kill the armor master, so that doesn't work. Um... Maybe we just set dupe or something. Oh. Okay, I did not see that. Uh, we're just going to lose to Gores, though. I mean, we could attack with Brionic, and they're going to Gores, and then our Gores attacks the Brionic token. Uh, it looks better for Drew at this point, to be honest. Wait, oh that no 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 that's fine, that's right. Uh, the fish god might have had to attack the gores into the gores because now this gores eats the brionic and the gores. So we attack gores into gore. No, this is also fine. Okay, Kais is a. It's a fine draw. Yep. All right, fish god dies. Alright, let's see this fish god hand. Yeah, this is... I mean, we're going to do frog things, but there's an oppression. Chooses to trooper attack. I mean, you're just dead to gores. You're literally dead to it. Like, I'm looking at your cards right now. Could have just set the Raikou. Then ma next turn, you could summon the Trooper Attack, and if they drop Gores, you can Raikou it. But if you set Raikou against Treeborn, they can just attack it. I don't know. With the Treeborn. Alright, so... We were gonna... Special Swap, use Salvage, get back Sub... Fish board, no sub in a swap or something, and then go swap crazy. But the way the fish got played it, we can still summon this unifrog and kill the oppression if we want. Could also just salvage the swap and attack over trooper. Trooper is a menace. I think we can do both. We can summon swap, send tree, bounce tree, summon unifrog. Uh, unifrog attack, kill oppression, swap, kill trooper. Yep. Just frog things. So if we mill it right go here, it's dead. That's funny. Nope. Never lucky. Nice hand. Wait, you just set a right go against frogs? You're dead. Lucky for you, their frogs aren't doing anything. Oh, we drew fishy. Three dupes, that's crazy. Tongyo, bad draw. Oh, right, we're going for a fishy. Is this lethal? It can't be, right? This is 53. Dead. All right, the fish god wins. Let's see, was this a good game? Uh, 
Okay, so me verse at uh, 1276 versus Senex at 863. I really like this deck. It's like the, the plant zombie deck. Our hand's really good. Like we get to pretty much trade this Treeborn for a swap. We get to go through our whole deck and we get to upstart and we get to, yeah. Um, I guess I'm playing around Raiko a little bit here, but like, could have went for the evil hero substitute line. I'm not sure if that's, I'm not sure what the best play is here. Obviously it wasn't Raiko, but like when it is Raiko, you kind of want to keep your dupe lock going. So. Uh, see, I don't know. This hand is comp more complicated than it looks because there was a line where we could Prodigy, Ryza, attack, obviously. If they have Gores or Trag, you get punished. There's a line where we go Prodigy, Substitoad. That play was a bit reserved, but it allows us to s get the Treeborn going, so we get we have some open lines next turn. But like this Prodigy kind of like fixes that problem to begin with last turn, and we we chose to do kind of a slow play. I don't know. So this trooper is going to get going. Now we're going to do sub things. Bounce, summon tree effect. So we're, we're not going to go for any dupe line here. Because this trooper is annoying. Like, you need to answer trooper. This, this was kind of the case with that ladder god game where, like, he chose to get rid of the trooper and the back row when he had an option. So it's kind of like the same here. But uh, but we don't have more access to substitute, so it's awkward. So we're gonna, still going to kill that. They're going to search. This dad's probably like, we're probably dead. Yeah, this is rough. Their hand is explosive. Are we just dead? Oh, we have fader. Got a drop fader here. Like, look at that hand. Oh, I like this. Stratos pop the back row. Miracle Fusion. Think. So here we have to kill Titanial or we have to kill Trag. Our thought process is this deck runs like Amaryllis, possibly, but definitely Titanial. So they could use Trag to take the zero here. Also, Trag is going to be. Uh, 3k next turn, so that's something to keep in mind. So I think killing the Trag was a bit more safe. They take it, they summon dad, and we're just dead, right? Super aggressive hand. I mean, I don't love the, the line I took that that game, looking back at it. Like if you have if you have Prodigy and Sub, and they have a set monster, I think it might just still be worth it because I think you're gonna be at a point on the board where you have a swap in attack mode and a sub in attack mode. You're gonna go into the battle phase. You're gonna attack with the swap, and they're gonna kill the sub. So be it. No, maybe no. I think I was right to be honest because then I just have two swaps and no subs. Like I'd rather just keep the sub in the prodigy. I don't know. I think I, w I think that play was good actually. Let me know what you guys think if you have an opinion. My hand was prodigy sub swap Ryza. Anyway, this hand is trash. I and mean, we have a dust shoot, but like this hand is garbage. No frogs, worst hero, no monarchs, no miracle fusion, bunch of traps that can like, well, they're all doing the same thing. They're killing back row. And obviously this deck doesn't run a lot of back row, but they have like 17 mark of the rows. So we get to answer it, right? Might even be worth setting up a heavy. Um, so we draw another trap. Awesome. We know they have heavy, so we got to play around it a little. So we just set the heavy. I kind of like that because... 
Like, what are you going to do? You're going to set your traps into your heavy? You're going to start poking at traps with Dust Tornado and then never get heavy value? I don't know. So they heavy are heavy, sure. All right, we finally draw a play. So, Special Prodigy, Soft Block, Set Dust, Set the Dust first, obviously, MST, you can activate from hand. So they have Pass here. We're just going to dust something to summon the tree. This is all fine. Maybe could have held that up, start. Get some air forced. Swap, kill, dupe, get Unifrog. Oh, was that necessary? Oh, we have another dupe in deck. That's probably fine. Get to kill their back rows. They've had Trigodia all three games. It's quite strong. So we have Mirror Force. Are we going to Mirror Force this? Yeah. That's fine. They have our sub. Honestly, we're looking okay this game. Like we have a, a hero, a miracle, some traps, some defense. Still have the sub going. We, I think we have a Swap and Unifrog in deck. No, Swap in deck. Might be out of Swap. I might have sided one out. So I played around that crow by summoning Stratos first, obviously. Alright, looks like we won. Alright, this hand's not bad. This hand's not bad. I mean honestly hate one for one but it is subs to toad just a minus one to get it so they open up goblin zombie torrential just summon sub sentry attack mill a hero that's pretty good Big attack Summon Gores. Kind of an aggro Gores here, huh? Uh, obviously, I think my thought process is I'm afraid that I'm going to keep taking hits from my opponent in, 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 in game states where How do I put this? I think I'm going to keep taking hits from my opponent, like these pokes, right? And then I'm going to get too low in life, where this Gores doesn't matter. What, are you, what you're playing around by not dropping Gores is Caius. Like, obviously, if they attack with Goblin Zombie, main phase 2, Caius or Gores, that's a huge blowout. But I think we're going for, we want to drop this Gores. It's an answer to this Goblin Zombie, which means we don't have to, assuming they don't have the Caius, we don't have to deal with any future Caius, right? It also means that we get to, I mean, we have a dupe block in hand, so we, we want to set up the substitute with the with the tree. I think that's also what we're thinking. I don't know if it was correct to drop the gores, but I think that's probably the mindset. This upstart's good. So what we're lacking right now is some Miracle Fusions and Caius. Those are the big cards of the deck, obviously. So we're going to go through all these frogs. Just attack. This is fine. So here, do a soft block, keep the token in defense. We don't think this is mirror force, but it's reasonable for it to be mirror force also. But this probably makes us not play into it next turn. Oh, we get upstart now that we've gone through our frogs. We draw a hero. Not great. Okay. 
Let's start again. Bounce swap. Oh, we can summon this zero. I don't know. If, and then they have mirror force. Why did we summon the zero? Because we didn't think it was mirror force. But it was a goblin zombie, so hmm. I'm wondering if we just like attacked the gores there. And then summon zero main phase two if it would have been better. And that's a Dyna. That sucks. Sometimes you can play around that by like bouncing your dupes, but there wasn't really a, a case for that this game. So we set Torrential. Not much of a line here. I mean, we could have set Regeki Break. I don't know. Still no Kai. Still no Miracle. Draw probably the worst card in our deck. They're just going to poke. We kill it. But now they can special summon and like, yikes, man. But we have two faders, so we have to kill it. So hopefully they overextend and we can like fade plus torrential or something. So here I'm just thinking like, sure, I could torrential this Brionic, but like, and I'm thinking they could have call for the Dyna, but like, you, you can't play around every card. Like I, if I torrential this Brionic, I can, I'm still doing nothing. Like, I want to get more value. And plus I have the brain control battle fader. So, like, the only card we're losing to is call here. Of course they have it, so we're dead. 25 cards in, not a single Caius, not a Ryza, not a Miracle Fusion. These things happen, but, like, look at this hand. It is just so atrocious. And we're dead. So... Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it if you guys left a comment and uh, subscribed. Uh, yeah, peace out.